Welcome to the topic 1.2 binary representation of real numbers in the series advanced topics. So uh, this uh, topic comes under section 1 of the advanced topics uh, floating point representation. Now uh, we'll start with uh, representing uh, integer in a decimal system. Uh, it is a straightforward thing. The range of integers what we can uh, represent will be depending on the field width. If it is 4 positions, it is 0 to 9999 and if it is 8 positions, it is 0 to all lines. The same thing applies uh, with the integer representation in binary systems. Again, it depends on the field width. I think we are very comfortable with this. 4 bits, you have one range. 8 bits, you have a bigger range. And one important thing what we have to observe here is all integers which can be represented in decimal system can be represented in binary system. Right? There is a one to one match. I represent a number n in a decimal number system, the same number can be represented in binary system. Right? Okay. What can we do? Integers are used for high level discretion of quantities. So, what does it mean? With integers, we can draw a square, right? But not the circle. So the problems of the world cannot be solved only with integers, right? There is something else. Can we identify the coordinates of the red points on a circle? So uh, my point is, can we have integers to identify these red points? The answer is, we should require real numbers with fractions, right? How many points are there in a circle? Can you have a wild guess? Think for 2-3 seconds. How many points are there in a circle? Certainly, it is infinity, right? Okay. Now, let us answer a simple uh, question. How many numbers are there between 0 and 1? Just can you have a wild guess? Or what is that big number? Or are there any numbers at all? Yes, the answer is infinity. Right? So, to get a clear picture about uh, what is the significance of the numbers between 0 and 1? Here we go. We have a completely inner world which is measurable uh, with the numbers between 0 and 1. We have one more world called outer world which is measurable between number 1 to infinity. The, the outer world is visible to the naked eye. The inner world is not visible to the naked eye. So all uh, the substance of all, all the outer world it is you, your belongings, uh, your car, house, bike, toys, earth, moon, star. Everything comes here. But what covers here? Your virus, the bacteria, atom, electrons, right? All those things which are invisible to our naked eye, they come in this region. What is the significance played by the particles in this region? They do have, they do play a prominent role in our human lives. What if uh, a scientist would have not identified the bacteria, the virus? Uh, in particular, okay, among the bacteria, we find out the bad bacteria and bad virus which cause sufferings for the human beings. They were able to identify that as well as the medication for that, right? And uh, how far have we gone? Uh, to understand this, we have gone to a level where uh, we were will be able to uh, analyze or we are working on the particles of one angstrom that is 0 0.1 nanometer, 10 to the power of minus 10 meter. Till there we are there. And is there any further to go? Yes. We all know we have mind. Have we seen mind? And uh, one of the uh, 
famous cardiologist Dr. B. M. Hegde in one of his uh, lectures says every cell has a mind, every cell has a decision taken, taking authority that whether a substance, a foreign particle is uh, consumable or not consumable. If it is not there, it will throw out. That means there is a mind particle within the cell. Have we identified its structure? No. That means still there is long way to go for us to identify this the mind particle which may be much less than one angstrom. So the subtle body is the one which is driving the outer world. The inner world in some sense is driving the outer world. Hence it is very important for us to understand the inner world and its uh, anatomy and physiology. Right? Even in the, in the representation of numbers, even in the binary representation of numbers, it gives a prominent role to represent the numbers here. We will see in the further slides. Right? And as usual, to give some uh, feel for the numbers within this range, we have uh, here some of the numbers between 0 and 1 are these are the numbers, and it is not limited to this. It's again infinite. Right? And there's one more uh, important point for you to ponder around. Between every two successive points, there are infinite numbers. This is what is analog, analog word. And it is not impossible, but really challenging for us to work directly on the analog word or solve problems in the analog domain. Hence, the profiles in the analog domain are converted to digital domain, process on that, right? Manipulate, copy, uh, do whatever you want, and again recreate it back to analog world for the end consumer. For example, uh, let us take example of an uh, audio or a video, right? The the synthesis of audio or video happens only in the analog domain. They convert it to the digital domain, process it and again regenerate back to the analog domain because the end consumer is our eyes and ears. Eyes for video, ears for audio and they are analog by themselves and they are receptible to analog, analog uh, signals. Hence, we have to regenerate back to analog domain. Now, can we represent all the fractional numbers in binary number system? The answer will be no and no. So, for example, I have a number 1.25 which can be represented but not 1.2. But then, how are we going to deal with that? So, then the next question comes, can we represent a number near to 1.2? So near to 1.2 is how near? The number which is near to me may not be near to you. Suppose I say 1.19 is near to 1.2, but you may not accept. For example, in the medical field, it will be more relevant. Suppose a doctor wants to diagnose uh, uh, a problematic area within a body in the radius of 1.2 centimeter, right? number of uh, bacteria in that area. So, and uh, if I say I can't and I, uh, I would take 1.19, that will be a significant difference. And if a doctor has to take a decision yes or no on a patient, we are going to be, he will be completely wrong. So, it depends on the application to take the number which is nearing 1.2. Hence, we go with the approximation or precision. And what is the uh, D approximation? Is there a D approximation or a D precision? Again, an answer is no. Depends on the field width, right? Uh, depends on our application. If how much, uh, uh, what is the approximation that we have to take? Here, there are few approximations that uh, we have depicted here. If it's an, if I reserve, uh, 8 bit uh, field width for a fraction number, I get this approximation for a 16 bit, this 
which is very nearer to uh, or which is nearer to 1.2 again 23 bit which still more nearer and 52 bit which almost close to 1.2 but still not 1.2 to get a better feel of these numbers we have this plot right between 1 to 1.1 to 1.2 and we are started here at 1.199 which is we take it as an approximation we have shown here four approximations here all can be seen all can be treated as 1.2 depending on the application for few applications this is this should be okay but there are few other applications which demands this for example for a video processing right it can compromise somewhere here this should be enough because our eyes are not so uh, critical in uh, seeing a difference but not the ears hence they say that it is easy to fool the eyes than the ears so if you want to do an audio processing if you want to take samples uh, of the audio signal better take a higher position and when it's a video signal you can be comfortable with the lower pressure because eyes are not sensitive compared to ears right and how to represent is there any simple representation uh, uh, for uh, to represent these uh, numbers the simple way of representing real numbers is we take integer part separate and fractional part separate m bits of integer part fractional part of n bits and uh, we assume an imaginary or we assume a decimal point here uh, we design circuitry to operate independently on integer and fractional parts and then accumulate here is an example 6.15 uh, we take it as separately 60 and uh, 50 and in the corresponding binary representation would be uh, this as well as this right 60.15 and this 0.15 is an approximation to 0.15 but not exactly 0.15 again as we told we give provenance for the numbers between 0 and 1 we have an example here 0 0.02 we take it as 0 and 0 02 and again in the binary representation we have this again this number is not exactly 0 0.2, it's an approximation. See, uh, here's uh, this is an 8 bit approximation because the width of reserved for the fraction part is 8 bits, right? And since uh, the point is fixed here, right, at the respective positions, it is called fixed point representation. The point is imaginary you can imagine a point is here right only known to the hardware circuitry right or the designer who designed the hardware circuitry he assumes the point is here and then does all the manipulation operation whatever he wants to do separately and then accumulates both right and uh, the most popular non-standard format i mean for a fixed point representation there is no uh, no standard or there is no standard body which has told that okay this is what we follow for interoperability uh, working no most popular non-standard format with 16 bit for integer part and 16 bit for fractional part and uh, many people uh, might not be aware of this uh, okay uh, one more information here we have is since the radix point is fixed it is called fixed point representation and the most uh, important thing is the position is defined by 16 bits of fractional part okay and one more important information here is this would cater to many of the digital image processing and digital video processing right and most of the earlier texas instruments provided dsp core processors would implement their uh, mac unit with fixed point representations only for the high precision uh, number crunching and munching right it would have one or two units of uh, 
other uh, standard representation, but predominantly it was dominating with this because of ease of implementation and those days even the demand for the demand from the application was more of it's a point you imagine digital image processing video processing most of the consumers are uh, wanted this and it was it was uh, catering to their needs right so what next so what is the range of fixed point representation obviously it is if it is a 16 for uh, 16 bit for uh, integers it would be like 2 power 15 point 0, 0, 0, 0, and 2 power 15 uh, plus 2 power 15 point 9, 9, 9, 8, 4, 7, 2. that means this number comes if all the uh, bits reserved for fraction is all ones right and uh, in a more readable form this is the number you get minus 2 power 15 will result in 32,768 and plus 2 power 15 will be resulting in 32,767 and this is the number right now you have certain examples here i mean uh, conversion of decimal number is uh, straightforward conversion of fraction if you are not aware this will help you out how to convert the fractional part into binary you keep on multiplying until you see uh, 1. See 0.25 into 2. You get 0.5. This is 0. You keep it for our binary representation. Again, 0.5. Multiply by 2.0. 1.0. Here you stop. But when it comes to 1.2, you keep on doing until you get your max of field width or it gets to 1. No, we will never see the end result as 1. So we keep on multiplying. 1 uh, 0.2 into 2 we get 0.4 again 0.4 into 2 uh, if here we get 1.6 we will not take this uh, integer part again we'll take the fraction part multiply by 2 we get 1.2 keep on doing this till we reach our uh, the end of the width right so this is the approximation we got 1 uh, okay 1.1999695 right and here are few more examples for your consumption. So now the limitations. Of course, uh, it has certain limitations. The magnitude of integers in this representation cannot scale beyond. So just this number, an uh, integer part, it is very low. Very low in the sense, can we represent a cost of an air conditioner with 28% GST? So suppose I, the cost of my air conditioners cost this. Can we represent with this number? Suppose a language supports a fixed point representation. Suppose a C language supports a fixed point representation of numbers and I store uh, a variable of this type to the and number like this. So we can't store and it is simply no. Then how to overcome these limitations? We want to scale right with the same 32 bit field width. Can we represent a big decimal number and with high precision fractional numbers? Right, this is, this is a beautiful problem and solved, amaz uh, solved in, uh, amazingly. You have an amazing solution for uh, this problem. The, principle of that solution is scalability how do we achieve scalability in, in this representation of a number representation of a real number how do we achieve this scalability the width is same right we will see this uh, right in our next session on the i three seven five four floating point representation right till then take care bye bye